Hey guys, welcome to my second and final look for 2020. That's weird to say, but uh, I want to thank you guys so much for allowing me to do something a little different from the last two videos. It really helped make things a lot less stressful. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween. I know things are a little different this year, but I hope it's still good nonetheless. So if you want to see how to create this look, keep watching and enjoy. I'm starting off with an already primed eye. We're only doing one with the eyeshadow. With Sugar Pulse Flame Point, I'm covering from the inner corner to roughly about halfway across the lid, and the bottom as well. On the very inner corner, I'm adding a bit of Butter Cupcake to brighten it up. Then on the second half, with Flame Point still on my brush, I'm using Sugar Pulse Bulletproof and blending those together. When you blend it out to the brow bone, you can add a touch of Flame Point to warm up that black. Then I'm adding some wing liner. The best part about this look, you do not have to match it to the other eye. Now on to the other side. I'm using Cryolon's black and creating a path that almost looks like a winding road from the top of my forehead, over the eye, and down the cheek. I did bring it down onto my neck, but then decided to remove it afterwards. I didn't want to put the black paint in my waterline, so I used a black eyeliner to line my waterline and get any spots that I missed with the black. With white, I'm sketching out where the moon should go. Don't worry if the moon is not perfectly white. I found that dabbing the paint over it works better than strokes. The moon is full of craters, so it works out perfect. Then with black light on, I'm using Mayron's Glow Blue Liquid White. Avoid making this too thick. It can start to crack and peel if it goes on too thick. The best thing about this is it goes on almost clear, so it doesn't really mess with the color underneath, but it still makes it glow. My camera was really struggling with the black light, so there may be some times that it goes out of focus. Now I'm taking the orange from Cryolon's Day Glow UV Reactive Palette and going just above my eyebrow to create the sky. I kept this very thin. This stuff can be a nightmare to make it look smooth, so the less layers you have, the smoother it will look. With white again, I'm just adding a little pathway down the whole face. The best thing about this is you can fix anything you need if the curve isn't to your liking. Just repaint it black. Then I went over it again with the UV white. I apologize, I was really struggling to see, so I had to go really close to the mirror to see all these details. You see, I'm blind as a bat. I'm using a black eyeliner pen to sketch out the little haunted house, and then filling it in. Then taking UV yellow, I'm adding little windows. If you make the windows a little too big or something, you can always clean them up with the eyeliner after. Don't forget to add the little cross pieces in the windows to make it look like actual windows. With the same eyeliner, I'm adding a little fence along my eyebrow. This doesn't need to be perfectly straight. It's a spooky house, they don't have immaculate fences. Of course, I had to add little bats. What haunted house doesn't have bats? I later added a few more extending to the orange. This is optional, but I felt like I was missing something on the path. So I added little lines that look like a sidewalk. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I could also make it look like stairs, but I'm not sure. Then, down the entire path, I'm adding little pumpkins, making them bigger as they go down. I'm just using the same UV orange as the sky. It's always good to check it over in blacklight. It could look fine in daylight, but blacklight could be horribly patchy. Now with the UV white, I'm adding little gravestones everywhere. In daylight, you won't be able to see them as well, but in blacklight, you'll be able to see them. If you want to be seen in both day and night, you can just add white underneath. You gotta add a few zombies if you're gonna do a graveyard. I'm taking UV green and adding little arms coming out of a grave. 
Then with the purple, I'm adding a little line under the grave to make it look like the ground. Back with the green, I felt like there needed to be a walking zombie, so I added him to the top by the fence. Then to finish off the look, I'm using NYX Liquid Suede in Oh Put It On. Add some mascara and false lashes. And finally, don't forget to add a little face to the pumpkins. And that's it! You're now a super glowy, super spooky work of art. <laughs>